Welcome to Robert's Bushcraft. Straight from the Eagle's Nest. Now, as longtime viewers and subscribers know, uh, Dad and I have been building this since about midsummer 2022. And this tiny off grid cabin has made a lot of progress since then. As we progressed, Dad and I have found some new things uh, that we need for the cabin. So, what we want to do is have appliances kind of resembling what we do at home. Things like coffee pots, things like ovens, and in this case, refrigerators and freezers. Iceco sent us this APL 20 to, uh, to do some testing on and uh, to see if this is something that we wanted for the cabin and for the channel. And uh, after doing some pretty thorough tests, pretty much running this thing constantly, uh, at least for the last 30 days, we have uh, determined that this is a solid piece of equipment. It's something that uh, I have kind of fallen in love with because having cold drinks out here, uh, you know, whenever you want it, just like a fridge at home, you know, you can walk up, put anything in this thing, uh, drinks. In this case, we've got it in freezer mode and we'll go into more of that later, but we've got popsicles in here, ice cream. You know, all kinds of stuff, just like you'd have in your fridge and freezer at the house. And that, for us, really makes it comfortable out here at the cabin. Because it allows you to kind of live the same life that you do at home. I'm Gabriel Roberts. Let's get started. Now, just a quick spec rundown of this APL 20. We've got 25 inches across the front here. 14.9 inch width and 11.6 inch height. This is all made of aluminum. It's got a C-COP compressor on the inside. Now that compressor is very quiet. I would, I would go as far to say you really don't even notice it unless you're really trying to hear it. And then you'll notice it's there. The uh, controls here on the outside are tactile and audible, as you can see here. Easy to read, readout display, even during the daytime. This features two spring-loaded handles. This does feature a soft-closed lid. Also kind of a hold-open lid. You'll see as you get closer, nice and soft, so it doesn't smash your fingers. Now just a few more specs on this. The cooling range for this cooler slash freezer is from negative four degrees Fahrenheit all the way to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. This does have an app control uh, feature, which is pretty neat. You're able to control a few main things on the app, like uh, on and off, setting the temperature, some things like that. Also, the net weight for this, at least on their website, is reading out at 22.88. We checked it at home and we were getting a reading of 25 pounds. So not a huge difference there, but if those you know, two or three pounds matter to you, then I guess that's worth mentioning. We've got reinforced corners here on the tops and bottoms of each of the, the four sides. Latches up front, nice and smooth. If you guys, maybe you can hear the compressor running now. The best way I can describe the volume is it's, it's almost like in a small aquarium, but not as loud. If you got a refrigerator at home, I know you've heard this growing up, keep the refrigerator door closed. Now, that does two things. That keeps you from, you know, refrigerating the entire world outside of this thing, but it also keeps your groceries on the inside cold or frozen, depending on, you know, what mode you've got to set in. Now, uh, just to go through a few things here, I've got a, a bottle of water in here just to show you. Uh, I mean, this is, this is frozen. That's frozen <laughs> solid, look at that. Yeah. 
got a couple of those in there just for the test purposes here. Uh, we've got some some uh, venison here. We got from a buddy. Frozen solid. Some old Cornish hens. We love those around here. Yes. It's about time to do another one of these down at the river. Some more venison. Again, frozen solid. I love those dark, sweet frozen cherries. Yes, these things are <laughs> just beautiful. I can get them open here. Of course, these bags never want to open right. There we go. Take a look in there. You can see the ice. Frozen. Yep, still see the ice on those. That's fantastic. Little cakes here. These things are frozen as well. <laughs> yeah, little ice cream cakes. I love those. <laughs> Oh yeah, some more uh, some wild game here. We've got some country style deer sausage. Solid. Frozen solid. Frozen solid. <laughs> got some popsicles up here. As you can see through the packaging, these things are frozen. Iceco is nice enough to include some general guidelines for what temperature you should store uh, certain groceries at, certain food types. Uh, water, drinks, you know, all the good stuff here. But it uh, kind of gives you a bit of a guideline of what to set this thing at, depending on what you've got in here. Now, to configure this Iceco APL 20, you can use these two buttons right here. You'll see they're connected on this icon. Hold both of these down to get to the settings. I do want to mention one thing. You'll see on the screen that this, it looks like it's flashing. This display does not flash. This is a solid display. But because of the frame rate of the camera, it will appear to you guys like this is flashing. Trust, this is a solid display. But nevertheless, let's get into the settings here. Now that we're in the settings, you can change that to eco mode. We're back to max. Uh, medium low right up top you can also change from Fahrenheit to Celsius now it's worth mentioning though that all of this cannot be done if the app is open if there is a way we haven't figured it out yet because we're not able to configure this while the app is also open now the app is really neat though you can do all of these settings in that app which uh, is make, makes it so easy. You don't have to do any uh, clicking of the buttons here. It's just all you know, Bluetooth connected to this, and then you just go right through the settings. As you'll see right there on the screen, super, super simple, easy layout, nice interactive interface there. Overall, good app, good controls. Again, tactile and audible. Time for some final thoughts on this refrigerator slash freezer. So, uh, I don't have many cons, and really the thoughts that I have towards this, uh, in that light, really aren't even cons. They're more just things that I feel like you should be aware of. Uh, this thing does scratch somewhat easily, so if you're you know someone that likes to keep gear pristine and perfect the entire time, or the entire duration of your, your use of that product, uh, that might be something you want to consider. For us, that's not that big of a deal. You know, we use stuff all the time. If it gets scratches on it, it, you know, it, it has, doesn't really... That's character. Yeah, char that's right, character. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to make mention of that in case if it is a, uh, a big deal to you. Another thing that uh, Dad mentioned, he doesn't like this. It's kind of a con in his opinion. This... Uh, power adapter piece where you plug into the refrigerator itself is unidirectional. Now, of course, for us, no matter which way we go to plug this thing in, it's always going to be the wrong way. <laughs> so, no matter what, we're always going to have to switch this thing around and put it in the correct way. That's not really that big of a deal to me, but it is something that Dad mentioned. This is not a multi-directional plug. You can only plug this in one way. Now, for our tiny off-grid cabin, space comes at a premium. 
And in my opinion, this works well in the available space that we have. This is gonna work well for things like dorm rooms, uh, hey, you know, overlanders, people that are building those, you know, Toyota 4Runners or those Tacomas out to be the perfect over overland system. You're gonna need a small fridge or a small freezer in that system. Uh, you know, if you're trying to spend any more than a couple of days out there, you're gonna need something like this uh, in your system you know, to have a successful build. And I think it shines there as well. I mean, it's it's perfect to fit behind a seat, you know, in the back seat of a, a truck or a, uh, you know, SUV, minivan, something like that. This is gonna work out perfect. It's also worth mentioning that this thing has uh, an AC adapter. So you can plug this up to your wall outlet, you know, at a house at home. You're able to also plug this up inside of a vehicle or run it on an off-grid system like we're doing with the 12 volt uh, adapter piece that you'd plug right into like a cigarette lighter. One more additional thing I wanted to mention about this. As of the time of recording, this thing is on sale on Iceco's website for $399. And in my opinion, that's about the same price range that you'll see with a big name cooler. And a cooler, you have to refill constantly with ice. So in my opinion, you know, you're able to take this thing plug it up on the inside of your vehicle, plug it up to your wall at home, plug it up to your off-grid system, and uh, it's not something you have to constantly refill. So, uh, you know, with that being said, kind of my final conclusion on this, I really like it. I think for what it offers, it does a really good job at, and I think it's, it's working really well out here on the tiny off-grid cabin. The Eagle's Nest has found a fridge, it's been really nice keeping things cold, keeping things frozen. If we had to harvest, you know, some wild game, something like a deer, you know, a few rabbits, a squirrel, things that we might not could eat all in one sitting. You know, if you kill a, a good sized deer, that could take you multiple days to actually consume that meat. And not having something like a freezer to be able to put that meat in uh, can be really wasteful and detrimental in the long run of trying to hunt, prepare the meat, and survive, you know, throughout the long term at your site. Now, you're not gonna get a full-size deer into this freezer, but uh, Iceco does offer larger freezers. So, just to make you guys aware of the applications of something like this, something to look out for, something to, to think about, at least. I've really enjoyed getting to use this and we're going to continue to test and use this out here at the Eagle's Nest. Folks, I'm Gabriel, he's Curry, this is Roberts Bushcraft. As always, defend the weak, fight for what you love, may the wings of liberty never lose a feather, and God bless.